Okay, uh, so I've set up the um, uh, bunk stuff um, so that you can see it. Uh, also didn't mention uh, the, I just taped this um, magnetic screen door. Funny enough, you know, I mean, so much work put into the design and the thinking and the systems within the trailer. And one of the biggest comments um, or compliments is always on this screen door. It's like, oh, it's got magnets. Oh, it closes by itself. Oh my, it keeps some mosquitoes out. Yeah, okay, great. $20 uh, win there, you know, and everything else. I mean, you can add a, uh, that, you know, obviously the work that went into it, but um, I enjoyed it. And that's part of the reason I did it was, hey, um, can I build something we can camp in? And we did. Uh, we, I wouldn't have camped without the AC because at 85 degrees, it was humid out there in Tennessee. We were at Normandy Lake and that's um, not really my thing. So without the AC, I would say I would, I would not be enjoying camping. So, uh, you know, I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't think I would want to camp more than a day or so if I had to sweat it out. Like it's like 95 degrees outside now. Um, it's a hundred in here. Um, here is the bed setup. Uh, so this was supposed to be the office. This is a shower area. Um, so I was going to have a fold up thing from the wall folds up and that's the shower folds back down and it's just a regular shelving system or whatever. Um, inside this trailer is uh, six foot, uh, six foot six. Um, and these are just, this is just uh, Coroplast on the ceiling. It's just plastic panels. So you can put whatever you want, but I'm non-committed on that. These weigh like eight ounces each, something like that. Um, and they're only 20 bucks each. So slap those up on there. It's no problem. You can tell um, I didn't really, I put some glue, but not much, just so that I could take them off later and put some nice ceiling. But um, I, I like the white in here. It's re it really makes it look nice. The International also has white ceilings, all fiberglass. So, uh, and I think I like that. Um, anyway, here's the beds. I overdid it with the slats, as you can see. Um, you don't need this many. I mean, it, so the typical sleeping situation for us is um, like my 12 year old uh, almost 12 and then my five year old up here so they've got the uh, single beds they're like I think they're 28 inches wide but they're real comfy like four inches deep I put a yoga mat on top of these slats and then the mattress on top it's perfect that yoga mat keeps everything from moving and you don't feel the slats or it's really cool it's a great idea I don't remember where I got the idea but um, somebody had it uh, and they're so cheap on Amazon anyway um, and me up here so me up here I've got a thicker mattress and the yoga pad a different type of yoga mat um, and uh, and there's just enough room for me to sleep and turn over and not feel claustrophobic whereas these bottom ones were designed so that they could sit up in bed and read or do whatever um, and be comfortable and then my wife and one of my kids usually sleeps down here with my wife likes to snuggle so so that's why there's an extra um, uh, middle beam here just so that it'll hold extra kid bouncing around or you know whatever uh, typically um, and it, these don't move so everything up here is super solid you know I was I'm always extra concerned about somebody getting hurt so I tend to overdo it on that stuff the overdone slats and stuff um, anyway so the um uh, the idea is that this is really the only one that's out during the day as you saw earlier in the video and the rest just they go away they fold up so these beams just sit behind here um, and they're all uh they're all labeled like this says lower one so that's really supposed to be here so this is top one um so it's i got them backwards and then that's lower middle uh, but i labeled them just to make it easier and they fit perfect if you put them in the right spot they're all about the same so not that it really matters. Um, anyway, very solid and secure. And then everybody can charge their stuff from the outlets that they need to. Um, and then we had a TV that we put up here the first night. It was a little far back. So we tried it over here. And then we decided that this is probably right in here where the TV would go. So, I'm oh, sorry, you probably can't see that. So like a shelf in here is the TV. Um, and that's where the TV would go or the shelf in here. This is where the TV would go here and just my bed would not be made most of the time anyway because um, I'm the last to sleep first awake. So, you know, they could always watch TV and stuff like that till they fall asleep. Um, what else can I tell you about? Let's walk around the outside. 
And um, I'll make sure I told you everything. Uh, here's the uh, the deck. I, I just rolled out the just that fake grass, and then I use these so nobody hits their face on the wires. Um, it only took me a couple times to learn that. Um, it's hot out here. Anyway, oh, uh, if you don't want those uh, stabilizers, those four stabilizers, you could take these X chocks instead. These go between your wheels. Um, you could have either one you want, but not both. Um, so obviously on that one, I don't need um, the uh, wheel chocks, the X chocks, but I could still use the stabilizers. So if you want the X chocks, um, they're all about the same price. You choose uh, whatever you don't choose. If I need it, I'll just buy it. Um, anyway, back is just, this is all quarter inch, um, uh, just OSB stuff, or, uh, just wood panel stuff. And it's great, but we just slapped it on there before the, uh, before the camping trip and uh, it works out. So let's take a look around the outside. Close this up. You know, it needs some trim and stuff there, um, just so that everything sits a little better. Uh, but, you know, the, the I would say the main uh, benefit of buying this one over uh, just an empty one is you already got the floor. So it's got the beds. Okay, that's fine. But, you know, maybe it's just you or, or your wife or your husband or one kid who knows what so that's probably too many sleeping five or six is probably too much um, but it folding away really is uh, makes a huge difference um, let's see I mean you got water and throw in your hundred dollar toilet and you're good to go you got air conditioning shore power everything um, doesn't come with any of the cables because I'm gonna use those on the camper you know, the ones that connect from the power pole to here and the ones that monitor all the, the stuff. So I'm going to use those. Um, but you get everything that's in the trailer and up. So all you need to do is connect power and you can connect home power is what I do here a lot. Um, but uh, this remote to the uh, old or to the new inverter won't come with it. So uh, this is one that um, when you hit it, it takes 30 seconds to come on. So I will try not to have 30 seconds of dead spot in the video. Oh, you can switch that though. So within here, you can change it to a zero second because that, that's made for a generator. So you crank your generator on, it comes up to speed, gets a little warm, and then it kicks in. Um, so you can make it zero seconds, you know, if you don't want to wait the, the 20, 30 seconds uh, for the power to come on. Now the inverter's on, so all of these outlets are live. Um, that's why I use the transfer switch because if I'm running shore power or inverter power, I didn't want to have to unplug things from the outlets and plug them into a different outlet. Um, it just seemed like a pain, and that was a main gripe on some uh, some converters, uh, people who've converted cargo trailers. So I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to do that. If they're griping about it, I'm just going to solve it in advance. Um, what else on the inside? So, th But this new inverter doesn't come with it. The other one, you'll actually have to hit the switch on there. It's, it's a bigger inverter, it's just not uh, pure sine wave. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's take a look at the outside. Uh, dual wheels, it's a 2018 snapper trailer, 16 inch on center. So it, it's pretty beefy under there. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see it uh, with the light and everything. But uh, it, uh, when I bought it, I uh, bought it from a guy who was gonna trailer his little uh, Ford Model T car, um, like a kit car thing. Uh, to uh, the shows and he went to one show it was like 1200 miles so he put 1200 miles on it and then I put about 1500 miles on it because we went camping in Tennessee and um, I've hauled my dirt bikes in it a couple times um, this comes with it the little front lock but you know if somebody wants your trailer they're just going to take it um, shore power is under here so this cord will not come with it but you know you can see the shore power uh, plug up there that goes in there um oh look at the solar here all right so going up there's the solar nothing big i did put a different vent on it because that's better and it's got more room up in there but there's the single solar panel 100 watt so that way you know you can charge all your stuff and run your computers and junk um yeah that's all i mean Great cargo trailer, uh, two keys. Um, 
the sun's over on that side all the time that's why I haven't put the uh, wheel covers on these but I do have the wheel covers um, I don't think I need to say if I need to say anything else about it I'll put it in the description but everything works great it's got the brakes the brake controller thing right there um, yeah. pulls great I pull it with my f-250 and uh, it you know it barely knows it's back there so <laughs> anyway um, I'm converting this international here we're gonna use this it's gonna be fun but we're gonna try it we'll probably camp in it once and they'll be like okay all right so there's the back of the trailer the cargo trailer Woo, need to mow this yard too hot now too hot anyway uh, here's the view have a great day.